Hello people! Today we will show you how to remove and change old Audio Technic ATH M20X earpads at home. A very easy and cheap way to restore and upgrade earpad cushions. A typical problem is all damaged earpads. If you've been using headphones for multiple years, then such sight is normal. They are uncomfortable and bass sounds worse. To replace the earpads, you obviously need to buy new ones. There are different types Valor, Echo Leather, and even expensive sheepskin earmuffs. For the difference between Valor and Leather pads, click on More from Text Group. But today, we've installed these soft leather earpads with good price and performance. Links to replacement earpads will be in the description. To install the new pads, you need to remove the old ones. It's easy. Just slide your finger under it and slowly pull off. I must warn you though that removing the pads is a thousand times easier than putting them back on. Once the pads are off, you can check off any excess stuff if you have any. To put a new ear pad on, you have to stretch the edge of the ear pad so it flattens a bit. This will make it easier to put it on. Then you have to push the edge into the gap, but once you push it in, you have to hold it there with a finger so that it doesn't jump out. While you put the rest of the edge in, keep doing the same thing. Push a section into the gap, hold it, push it in, hold it again, and keep doing this until you get the ear pad attached. At the end, you can turn the pad so that it sits well in its new place and is centered properly. Now you can see the difference. An old hard board, a new fluffy ear pad that will last for a long time. Now you have to do the same for the second pad. And here's the result. Just like new, or even better, because these replacement M20X ear pads are significantly softer than the original ones. Hope you found this video useful. And by the way, this tutorial also applies to the M30, M40 and M50X Audio Technic ATH series headphones. We'll be very grateful if you leave a like. And if you want to see more useful DIY videos, then subscribe. Thanks and see ya!